Hi, I'm Ron Palk, designer of the Palk Workbench. Okay, well, we got started in part one. This is part two of a project in designing a model in SketchUp. We're going to move forward today and see uh, how far we can get. So I will make it 40, 45. Type in 15, enter. Protractor tool. And click in that direction and then put me a guideline. It's 45. I'll go up, type in 8, enter, minute. It's plumb from that point. 8, enter. 20, enter. And come in and lay it on there. Hit the shift key and come right there. And just give me a reference line and come up again 45. So I'm going to hit the L key for line, come to there, come to there, come to there, come to there, hit the T key for tape measure, and grab a line from here and come over 10 enter. And that will give me, so I'll hit my L key for the line tool, grab on that endpoint, come to there. Again, 45, L for line, grab that point, and there. And so I've, I've created that shape that I need, fairly complex little shape, but just by, um, just by drawing it uh, some guidelines, I'm going to hit Edit, Delete Guidelines, Push Pull, and hit seven, enter. T for tape measure, grab here, come that direction, 12, enter. Line tool, I'll grab there, go in the red direction, hold shift until I touch that line, go down, just down the line, I'm holding shift, I'll reference that line, and then I'll connect it back there. Push pull to enter. And that looks pretty good, so what I'll do to clean this up a little bit is I'm going to triple click, right click, make a group, triple click, right click, make a group. So now it's locked up, nothing will stick to it. And I need one on the other side, so I'm going to hit the M key for move, sorry, the option key for copy, bring this over to this side, and I'm going to orbit around. And I'm going to hit the S key for scale. And I'm going to grab this middle point. And I'm going to come over until, if you look in the bottom right, it says minus 1. So that means I'm an exact copy. And actually, in the real world, this is all one piece. I could go in and, and combine these. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to grab them all, right click, and make a group. So now I have a group in a group. All right, so I want to draw that arch and to do that I'm going to use this tool here it is a uh, I'm not sure what they call this it's a three-point line anyway so I just indicate the three points so I'm going to start there click there and then the third click is the height I want it to go want now what I want to do is um, copy that and move it down so that the uh, ends are touching the bottom so I'm going to hit the M key for move, hold down the option key, grab that corner, and then come straight down to that bottom section there. L key, come up and connect. The H tool for hand. Get right to where I want to be. I'm rolling in and out with the scroll wheel. And I'm in there. I'm going to hit the line tool, double click, right click, make a group. Now I can grab this. So I'm going to come out and make it, I'll make that 175, enter. So I can find the center point here. I'll hit my move tool, grab it right in the center, go back and forth until I know I'm where I want it, lock it in and then just come right along this bottom until I find center. So I'm going to hit the M key for move, hold down the option key, make a copy, and just drop it out of my way so it's nice and safe. 
and I am going to then go into this one, click into it, get rid of this, get rid of this, get into that group, get rid of that. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this, I'm going to move it a little bit away to cut away what I need from this section. So I'm going to go out of this geometry, go into this one. So that's all selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to intersect with model and then Now in this case, um, I, instead of exploding this group, which would have cut that away, um, because of the shape of it, it's easy to make this one disappear. So first, I don't need this. I'll delete that. And I'm going to come in here into the group, push pull. And if I go all the way back, you can see that uh, you can start to get and make some pretty complex shapes if you just you know take your time and think your way through it. And I am not a SketchUp uh, expert. I've been using it since they came out with it. I know how to do a lot of stuff with it, but I just learn stuff when I need it. Uh, when I'm in Photoshop or Lightroom, I, I want to know everything. I know those programs in and out. Um, but, but for SketchUp, I just learn what I need. There's a lot of great resources. I learn what I need when I need to, when I've got a project, I need to do something. Just take a deep breath and go, okay, whatever time it takes, I'll learn this particular thing, and it adds it to, uh, to my skills. All right, so there's a little bit more to this. I actually have uh, a space underneath it that um, allows the tape measure uh, to go through. I'm going to hit the T key for tape measure. Grab on the bottom, and let's see what 7 does. I think the... This is actually flattened there. Tape measure come in six, six inner, six inner. And then I'm going to go into this group and I'm going to take my line tool, grab there, 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 and there. P for push pull, push that all the way through to the back. And then this part, push pull and replace it. Move, grab that center point, bring it in, shift. Get in that group, move. And I'm going to hold down shift and push it out that way. And what I want to do is clip off this portion to match the bottom there. So I'll go into that group, hit the line tool, grab it right there to right there. Then I can grab that surface, push pull all the way back to that corner. What I want to do is bring this back, get it going in the right direction, the green direction. And I'll do the same thing again. I'm going to grab this side, go in the green direction, hold shift, puts it there, and then I think that was about two millimeters in the green direction to enter. Well, that wasn't too hard. That's part two. Look for part three. If you like these videos, be sure to like them, subscribe, and share them with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.